Hello everyone, welcome to Get Well Soon! This is a small and free survival horror game created as part of Ludum Dare 27, and the theme of this Ludum Dare is 10 seconds. And how they have chosen to implement that theme in this game is... In the game you have 10 seconds to move. It's sort of like it's turn-based. You have 10 seconds to move and try to escape from the monster. I think there's only one. I'm not sure, though. I guess we'll find that out. But yeah, you have 10 seconds to try to escape and stay alive. And then, the next 10 seconds, the monster has. Yeah. You can just imagine how terrifying that's going to be as the monster, I guess, tries to find you and tries to kill you for 10 seconds and you can't do anything because you have to wait for your turn. I, I'm genuinely scared to play this. I actually have the lights out. The lights are off right now. My room is completely dark, except for this glowing bright monitor. And I am scared. Because I actually have not played very many horror games. Most don't really appeal to me. And most that I've played recently, which is not that many, but most of them have been really more creepy rather than scary. But I'm pretty sure this one is not creepy. I'm pretty sure this one is just downright fucking terrifying. At least it sounds like it's going to be. So what's going to happen? I don't know. But I haven't played a game that I suspect is going to be this terrifying since I originally played Amnesia The Dark Descent. And that came out quite a while ago. So I'm scared. Hold my hand, please. Okay, um, let's go. Click to flip. Yeah, this I started it up and just went into the first, uh, the very first couple seconds just to make sure that it worked and all of that. And it has a very good, a very good intro. You'll see in just a second. But it's got this really cool, like you flip to the next, uh, the next part of the story, and it even has good voice acting. Keep in mind, this game was made in what within like four days, I think. So it's really impressive. Check it out. It was five months ago, I think. Five months ago that the accident happened. We were driving in the night, back from a holiday trip. The girls were sleeping in the back, while Jason and me were pondering about getting some rest in the next motel we'd find on the road. The truck seemed to come out of nowhere. They told me the driver was asleep when he hit us. I can still hear the screams of our beautiful baby girls. And Jason. I stayed in a coma for two months, hanging between life and death. Had I known what happened, I would have gladly chosen the latter. But God clearly had other plans. My physical remission was quick, according to the doctors. But they worried about my mental health. <laughs> Suicidal tendencies, they said. Having no remaining relatives alive, they didn't trust me to go back to my life, or what little was left of it. Instead, they sent me to a rehabilitation center. And truth is, I didn't care enough for my life to protest. Once I got there, I began to have strange nightmares. They told me it was good, that it was a sign I was going through the shock of the accident. But I started to worry when those visions happened while I was awake. First they reassured me, but soon they only nodded and just put me under stronger treatment. I began to ask myself, what if this medication was actually the cause of my hallucinations? I couldn't stand the place anymore and I decided to leave. They tried to dissuade me, but I couldn't listen and signed the papers testifying my leave against medical advice. I packed my bags and made for the front entrance. But when I got to the main lobby, I understood. They wouldn't let me go. There were security guards everywhere. When I tried to run for it, they easily pinned me to the ground, arguing that I was having a nervous breakdown, that I had to calm down. Last thing I remember were my raging screams, those liars' faces looking down at me, a sting in my arm, and then Everything went black. Get well soon. <laughs> mm, where? Ah, oh, my head. Is this? Is this my 
room? So dark in here. Let's see. I think I had a reading lamp over here. It is my room, but what happened here? Everything looks messed up. I feel kind of weird, but I think I can walk. I'll take a look around. So, yeah, that intro that introduction, frankly, I think would be exceptional for any game, but in a game that was made in such a short amount of time, it is unbelievably good. Great art, great introduction, and great voice acting. I mean, how often in, like, a mini game jam game do you get any voice acting whatsoever? And then when you do, how often do you get excellent voice acting? So I'm really impressed so far. And I'm also very scared. Because I've heard you encounter the monster as soon as you go outside of the door. That one. That one right there. Yeah. And that banging sound is not reassuring. Also, the fact that I'm playing this with the lights out is uh, making the effect a lot worse. I'm definitely going to play horror games with the lights out. It really helps. Hold on, the sensitivity is like way too high. Unfortunately, I can't see my mouse. Uh, did I just turn it down? There we go. Up and up. High, normal, low. Okay, there we go. Much better. Oh boy. Alright. God, the banging noise, man. Sounds like there's construction, but... I don't think it's construction. I believe E is inventory. Yes, it is. Torch. This will allow you to see where you're going. It's so dark in here. Yes, it is. And space is use. God, I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I don't want to go out the door. I really don't want to go out that door. Oh, God. Here we go. Space to use. Space to use. Okay. Okay. Nothing so far. <laughs> Can I sprint? Uh, no, there's no sprint. Oh god, here we go. What the, the hell? hell? What is wrong with this place? Looks like it's been abandoned for years, but no way. Okay, well the monster hasn't appeared so far, that's very good. Although then again, it's also kind of bad because now I'm anticipating it and I know it's going to be somewhere very close. Jesus. I have to say, some sort of a, like a mental asylum, mental health facility is not a particularly unique setting for a horror game. But I'll be honest, there's a reason it's pretty common. Because it's pretty damn effective. Fire extinguisher. It's missing. Well, you can see the uh, the 10 second counter in the top right, which is not active at the moment. So until it becomes active, I guess I'm probably safe. Reading materials. Ludum Dare. Delore Amet. Or whatever, I don't know if that's someone's name or what. Lorum Ipsum. Oh, that's um... Uh, damn it, what is it called? Ah, I forgot, whatever. Anyway. GSM Rehabil Rehabilitation Center, you are here. Never... Get, what does that say? Never get out of... What the hell does that say? Where my flashlight is. I don't know what the hell that says. Anyway... Wait a minute, can I pick this stuff up? Oh. Alright, 
Alright, let's take a look. Medical file, day 12. This file is... That text is really, really small. I can barely read it. It's marked day 12. Click on space to read. Wait, click on... Cl you mean press space? There we go. Oh my god, that's so small. Re hold on, I've got to get really close to the monitor. Room 7. Reference, blah, blah, blah. H32. Male. Well, obviously it's not referring to me then if it's male. 72 kilograms. Let's see if I can even read that. Treatment LD27. Ha ha. Ludum Dare 27. Self-reference there. Human testing under heavy sedation. Male subject, blah blah blah, day 12. The subject is finally showing some changes. It got much paler. And massive hair loss has been noted. The body suffered one seizure, which thankfully didn't cause any brain damage. Other subjects suffered brain failure due to many consecutive seizures and had therefore to be disposed of. This will regrettably slow the experiment if we cannot quickly find replacements. Wonderful, they're doing some... very... They're doing some treatments that totally don't violate any sort of ethics or laws or anything at all, no. Of course not. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why the text is so small. I mean, that, that was near unreadable. Just because it was so small. Freaking jackhammering. Oh my god. You know, it doesn't help that it's also kind of hot here. In my room. So it's kind of hot. And the lights are out, and I'm playing a creepy game in the dark. God. Nothing yet. Haha. <laughs> Can I open this? Nope. A lot of things just don't even have collision boxes. What is that? Is that a battery? Whatever it is, I can't even pick it up. Hmm. I have to say, these boxes look suspiciously, suspiciously like they're for hiding. If you know what I mean. Yeah, oh, whoa. There's a whole box of... Whatever those are. What are those? Gotta be batteries or flares. Why would a hospital have flares? I sure hope the monster isn't outside. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yes, by the way, there's gonna be a lot of cursing. Just FYI. I'm pretty sure that's usually how I respond to horror. I don't usually really scream, I just kind of, like, curse a lot. If anything, my throat... Oh, that opens. If anything, when I'm... Oh, that opens too. <laughs> does this open? Yes, it does. Um, when it comes to horror, if anything, my throat actually closes up. I tend to make very little noise because I'm scared shitless and can't even talk. But I'm probably going to end up cursing a lot. Key card? S GSM. Looks like a key card. First key. This card seems to be a key. It must open something. Indeed. I sure hope the monster isn't... here? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm seriously scared. I'm, I have like a cold feeling creeping up my arm. My arms. My whole body. God damn it, it's the anticipation. I know it's going to be here. It's gonna be here, it's gonna be here. Where it just come out already. Where 
is it? Oh, shit. That's it. That's it. It's right there. It's moving. It's alive. It's... It's right there. Aha! Uh -huh. Fuck, 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 fuck. When is it going to notice me? I can't, I can't even tell if it's staring at me or if it's staring the opposite way. <laughs> Surely it's not going to pop out right outside of this door, right? If I look away from it? Yeah, don't look behind me. Don't look behind me. The 10 second timer hasn't started, so I can't be hurt. Right? Right? Please don't be closer. It's not closer. Fuck. 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 I think it's looking the other way. What? Oh god. Oh god. What is this thing? Oh, this is wrong. This... I have to get out of here. But, oh god. But be quiet. <gasps> I don't want to attract the attention of the... I, I can't move. I can't move. Thing. It's it's the monster's 10 seconds. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The fuck are you made out of bacon? I just got killed by the bacon monster. I... I don't know what just happened. I didn't even do anything, and then I didn't have control, and then when I tried to... move, I just died. Um... Okay. Uh, can I... can I restart? Please? Okay. I don't know exactly what happened there, but let's go again. I don't think there's a save system, unfortunately. Anyway, getting back to where I was should take all of, like, 20 seconds. Just get the key card, and that's it. Mm, where? Oh, my head. Is this... Is this my room? It's so dark in here. Let's see. I think I had a reading lamp over here. Okay, here we go. It is my room, but what happened here? Everything looks messed up. I feel kind of weird, but I think I can walk. I'll take a look around. What the hell? What is wrong with this place? Looks like it's been abandoned for years, but no way. The voice acting is really good. Alright, where's that keycard? It's on a table. Here we go. Huh, whoa, what, why did that just close? Okay. That was interesting. Just open those preemptively. Let's try this again. I don't know what just happened. Like... Do... No, there's like no controls. I mean, I don't think I can even turn off my light. No. Can I? No, I can't turn it off. Okay, I guess I'll just... I don't think I could move when she started talking, though. But let me try it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, God. What is this thing? Oh, I didn't notice my timer's going this down right now. This... I have to get out of here. But yeah, my timer was going down. Be quiet. I don't want to attract the attention of that... thing. When the monster's going, you can look around, but you can't move. So you have to watch. You have to watch. 
Oh god. Okay, 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 hide. Wait a minute, I can't crouch. Holy shit, I can't crouch. I can't move now. It's the monster's turn. Oh fuck. Where's this light? Where's this light? Where is it? I don't see its light. There it is. Okay, okay, it's coming. Hide here. Hide here. It's gonna come around the corner. There it is. There it is. Now it's going back. Okay, okay. I'm gonna stay here. Just watch it. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Is it gonna turn around? No. Okay. It's just patrolling. It doesn't know I'm here. Okay, here we go. Yep, it's just patrolling. It doesn't know I'm here. I've got to get past it. I need to get past it. Hide in the corner. Hide in the corner. See if I can see its light. Is it coming back? It's coming back. Oh god, it's right there. It's right there. Is it... Okay, whoo, whoo, whoo. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Going past it, going past it. Goodbye. Open it. Go inside. Okay, anything in here? Trash. Ah, oh, fuck, now I can't move. I, I still don't know what the hell those are. Where is it? Where is it? Is it, is it still going? Okay, it's still going. It's not coming back. It's not coming back yet. It doesn't know I'm here. Ten seconds. Gotta find stuff. Need stuff. Can't grab any of that. Don't know what the hell it is. Can't do anything here. Okay, time to... Hide. Hide. Where is it? Is it coming back? Shit, I think it's coming back. Oh, fuck. Where... Where's that? It's hard to tell where the light is. Okay, it's coming back. Go, 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 go. Get in, get in! Huh. I'm assuming if it actually sees you, it will probably pursue you more directly. Oh god, oh god. It's close, it's close. Time to go. Actually, it's not super close. Not super close. Anything here? Files. Can I read this while the... Oh god, I can't read that! The timer keeps going down. The timer keeps going down. I can't fucking read that. No way. Anything else here? Nope. Nope, 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 go, 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 go. Where's the monster? I don't know where the hell it is. I am gonna hide in the corner. Look for the flashlight, look for the flashlight. Where's the flashlight? Do they seriously expect me to actually read this while the freaking monster's chasing me? The timer doesn't stop. I'm not gonna read that. You are, I don't care who I am. Where? <laughs> doesn't matter. I'm alive, that's what matters. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, is there anything in here? No, no, no. It seems to still be far away. Far away down that hallway. Right? Yeah. Keep a lookout for that flashlight. Okay, nothing in here. You know, what about this big door here? Hold on, I might... Oh, fuck, I didn't want to be out in the hallway. I did not want to be out in the hallway. There's a big door, and my keycard might be used for it. No, I did not want to do that. Okay, fuck that. Fuck this. Nope, going, going, going. Whew. I don't know what that was. I don't know. Maybe I could use my keycard there. Maybe it was an elevator that is deactivated. I don't know, but I'm not staying to find out. Bye. Okay, where are you at? Oh, shit. Okay, it's coming closer. What is that? Box, box, box. Oh, it's a dead end. Wonderful. It's a dead end. Look for the flashlight. Look for the flashlight. No flashlight. That's a good sign. Ah, 
fuck, I can't grab it. Oh, oh shit, it's coming. It, it's coming, isn't it? It's coming. There's a flashlight. Grab it. Where is it? I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna stay right here. Okay, what do I have? I got a bunch of medical files. I can't, I can't read those. Been there, been there, been where have I not been? Okay, it's going back. That flashlight is bugging through the wall, which is unfortunate because it makes it hard to tell where it's at. Okay, you are here. Uh, oh, fuck, that's useless. Where is it? I need to use that keycard on something. Maybe it is that big thing in the hall. I'm gonna go check it. Okay, here we go. Where is it? Okay, it's far away. That... Whoa, what the fuck? Can I just go through that? Okay, uh, don't go in here. You're not meant to go in here. You can just glitch through the wall and you can see underneath the... Yeah, okay. Oh, should I see the flashlight? Wouldn't it be funny if it came through? <gasps> Where's it at? Not here. That's where it's at. Alright, there's definitely nothing I can grab here. I need to go back around the other way. I don't... Not sure where the hell I'm going, or exactly what I need to do, but I'm guessing it has to do with the keycard. Great, that's a broken purple mirror. I'm gonna hide behind here. I see the flashlight, I see the flashlight. Where are you at? Okay, goodbye. Been there, been there, been there, been... Where have I not been? What the hell? Where am I going? Oh, God. I don't like being out here. Okay, here we go. What do I unlock with the fucking keycard? I don't know where to go. I've been in every room. I can't pick these up. Can't open these. Can't open these. Nope. <sighs> the tension. The tension. Nothing, nothing. I mean, a freaking keycard isn't going to open a drawer. It's going to open a door. What if I missed? Could it be something in here? Alright, fuck it. Maybe we can read these. It's coming back. Okay, I can find a safe place and I can read those. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the library place because it looks like it doesn't come in there. It gets near it, but it doesn't go in it. So let's do that. Hey, goodbye. Oh god, is it coming back this way? Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Go, 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 I do not like being out in the hallway when the time stops. Okay, here we go. All right. Gonna read some stuff. Gonna park my ass in the corner. And we're gonna read some stuff. All right. That's the same male treatment. Uh... Yep, LD-27, human testing under heavy sedation, male subject, blah blah blah, day one. The subject does not show any sign of change from its initial state. The treatment continues as planned. Uh, is this one I already read? Doesn't... No, that's different. Which one did I read? 
Massive hair loss. Oh, right, I already read that one. Doesn't seem to respond expectedly to treatment. Dose has been doubled. It has been noted that majority of subjects are getting paler, but not subject 51. Great. That does not help me at all. That doesn't help me one damn bit. Alright, where do I need to go? Like, what am I missing? Looks like I'm safe in here. So I can take my time. Can't pick those up. Like, is there something I'm missing above or below me? A hatch of some sort? Why would there be a hatch in a hospital? That doesn't make any sense. Is there a door I've missed? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Bunch of freaking boxes, that's useless, I guess. Okay, take a look, library, nurse's office. There's the elevator. That's what I was trying to use the keycard on. But it didn't seem to work. Maybe I just need to more carefully aim towards it. God, I sure hope that thing doesn't come around. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing marked on here, the elevator. Okay. I guess I'll try the elevator again? I mean, I already went inside, though, and there's nothing in there. Literally, it's an empty, broken room. Alright, let me hide in here. Until that thing goes away. Whew. Okay, where's it at? Okay, it's right there. I'm gonna stay in here and wait for it to go past. It is gonna go past, right? Past? Please tell me it's going past. Please tell me it's going past. Please tell me it's going past. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's going past. I don't wanna be on the hallway while it's there, so I'm gonna go here and just wait. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. What is that? What is that box? That's a strange box. Okay. Here we go. Okay, 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 there we go. There we go. Uh, down or up? Let's go down. I don't like that light. Where is it? Where? Where is it? Is it coming down with me? Where is it? I, I, fuck it. I'm not gonna stay put to find out. Okay. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Wait, but... Oh god, oh god, I don't, I don't understand, I just went down, but it's the same creature? Is it the same level? What? Or is it like a, another creature? Okay, there's nothing down here. Oh shit, I'm gonna stay down here, I'm gonna stay down here, I've already used up my turn. Hide under the stairs, hide under the stairs. My head is peeking up through the floor. Shit. Okay, let's go. I don't know if that's the same level or what. Where is it? Oh, fuck! <sighs> I sure wish they had footstep sounds or something so I, could hear, so I could hear where they are. I can't. I don't. I have no fucking clue where they are except the visual feedback from their flashlights. Where are you at? Okay, it's far away. Let's go up. What? Is this a rendering error, or is this how it's supposed to be? It, there's no floor? Uh... Okay. I can't even fit through there. 
we can watch it walk past, I guess. Okay. I guess I need to go down. Okay, let's go. Where you at? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. I think I saw more than one. Okay, definitely a different floor. Oh my god. I'm gonna stay here until they go past. If they go past, please go past. Okay, here we go. Where are they? Where are they? Okay, okay, okay. We're in business. Okay, there's nothing in here. I am looking on the right of my screen through this thing that I'm glitching through so I can see a little tiny sliver to see if they come inside. Nope. Okay. Nothing. They've moved past. Nothing. Nothing in here either. Side behind the curtain. There we go. <sighs> and here we go. They are coming back. They are most definitely coming back. Another folder. Great. Well, let's look at this map since I'm going to be stuck here in place. Like, wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's for the first floor. God damn it. This isn't the first floor, is it? No, it can't be. Oh god, they're coming. Hi. Hi, there's two of them. Shit. And this is the same layout. Why? Wait, is this the same? I went down, but it looks the same. I'm confused. I'm trapped in some sort of nightmarish copy world. Where everything's copied, except... Bleh, except... What wasn't copied is that there's more of them. Run the other way. Goodbye. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh, yeah. Whew. Where are you? Don't know. I think that's a light from above. Can't do shit with that. Nothing, nothing. And they're coming. The hell is that? Oh, it's coming through the wall. And they're still coming. Useless, useless. That is a vo- oh shit, I do not want to fucking be here, oh god. Oh no. <sighs> go, go. Nothing in here, go in here, go in the library. The, the real library, the library ag again. Why is there another library? I. Okay, these ones on this floor probably do not come in here either. Probably. Emphasis on prob- Oh shit, my timer's going out, I didn't even notice. God damn it, there should be a sound for that. Okay, well while I'm stuck here, let's read this. Oh my god, this file is one of the last, but it's covered in blood. Oh great! Wonderful. I don't like the sound- the look of that light. But I'm gonna stay here and read it. Treatment, uh, LD-27, human testing under heavy sedation, male subject, blah, blah, blah. Day 89, treatment LD-27 experiment aborted, facility not secure anymore, building has to be sealed off, and remaining subjects disposed of immediately. These are the remaining subjects. Fuck. What is, what is that? 
shit, I can't pick it up. It's a syringe. Okay, well, I'm okay for now. Okay, grab it, grab it. Can I grab it? Okay, apparently I can't grab it. Okay. Okay, what the hell do I do? I haven't even found a key card. Nothing. 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 I need to go back out into the hallway. Oh, po, there's one right there. Where are you? Hi, bye. Go now. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I didn't see it there. Ha. Huh. Okay. It was, like, in the wall. I didn't see it there. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna get back to about that point, and I will be right back. Okay, I just found the keycard as you just saw, and now I know where to put it. Let's go shove that keycard in somewhere. Yeah, of course, they put like a brownish keycard on top of a brown box. Thank you. That was wonderful. My previous, like, two or three deaths have been from monsters glitching through the walls. Literally just going straight through the walls. Which is a bit annoying. Hi. Bye. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go! Ah, fuck, I barely made it in. Oh god, 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 this isn't good, this isn't good. Nope, 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 Okay. There, the front door. I made it. What? No. This can't be. No! 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 <laughs> well, I guess I'm not going to get well anytime soon, for I am one of them. <laughs> uh, that's a cool ending, actually. Okay. Well, let's see, I got a bit frustrated with the game. Trust me, it's a good thing that I cut out all of my attempts, because like I said, I just kept dying again and again from monsters glitching through the walls. Just literally going straight through the walls into into the room and then just killing me. That was not fun. And that was not interesting and it was not scary. It was just obnoxious. And every single time you restart, you have to go through the entire intro again. You can't... There's no save system whatsoever. You can't even start from the first room. You have to go through everything again every time. And wait for the narration to finish before you can even move. So that was frustrating. Um... Okay, I'll, I'll talk about what I didn't like, and then I'll end on what I did, because I always like to end on a positive note. Okay, so in a game like this, that's all about horror, and it's all about the monsters. It's all about the, uh... What'd you call it? I guess the... It's about the interaction with the monsters. That's, you know, that's the main interest behind the game. It's, it's to be scary. It's trying to scare you. It's trying to make it tense... Uh, a tense feeling, a tense situation. So the monsters and how they act and how you act with them, you know, how you interact with them, is key. Now, although it does have an interesting interaction system with the whole turn-based, everyone has 10 seconds to go, and then the next, you know, the enemy has 10 seconds to go, and then you have 10 seconds to go, and back and forth. It's very neat. But... Just the way the monsters behave and the way the whole interaction with them is set up is just not... It doesn't make for interesting or 
good. Uh, I'm at a loss for the proper words here. It's not well designed, your interaction with the monsters. Like, the fact that each one has 10 seconds to go is good. That's good design. That's very interesting. I've never seen that before, and it's very tense. Because you can move. You can look around, and you can watch these things move closer towards you. But you can't... You can't move yourself. That's very tense. That's good. However, the fact that the monsters just constantly glitch out and kill you by going through the walls does not make for interesting gameplay. And it doesn't make for tense gameplay, it just makes for obnoxious gameplay. And on top of that, the fact that they glitch through the walls maybe wouldn't be a huge deal, necessarily. If it wasn't for the fact that what they do when they get near you is simply walk into you and cause an instant fail state. That's not interesting. Like, they don't... What would have been more interesting is if maybe they hurt you, and then you had a mad chase as you had to run away from them. But it's not that. They walk into you, and it's an instant fail state, and you have to start all over again. That's not interesting. Repetition does not make for good horror. It makes for obnoxiousness. It makes for being frustrated. It makes for trying to think of, how do I beat this game, rather than trying to get into the experience. So, yeah, the monsters were very glitchy, which really hurt the experience, and the fact that there's an instant fail state when they get near you does not make for an interesting horror interaction. That's just not good. It just leads to frustration and repetition. So that was very bad, and I, I don't want to understate how important that is, because that is what the entire game is based on. It's based on the interaction with the monsters. And unfortunately, the monsters weren't done all that well. Yeah, there's, there should have been something more than an instant fail state. Like, the glitching through the walls, I get. It was made in a small amount of time, and obviously lacks polish. I'm not even going to mention all of... I'm not even going to, like, really criticize all of the stuff that lacked polish. There's, you know, seams opening up into the world, and objects misplaced, and glitching through walls, and stuff like that. You know, I, I get that that's because of a lack of polish. It's not a fundamental gameplay problem, it's just something that could have been fixed if they had more time, I'm sure. However... The fact that there's an instant fail state when they get near you is a big problem. You know, that's not a lack of polish so much as just bad... Just not very good design. It's not It's not really interesting, yeah. just uh, horror, People making horror games really need to get out of... I think they need to get away from the mentality that... Monsters instantly kill you and that dying and coming back... Is something that should even be in the game. It really shouldn't. With horror, you really need to avoid... Repetition. I think uh, f frictional games, the people behind Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and the Penumbra series, have talked quite a bit about the design of horror games, and that's one of the things that they're they're really uh, they really stress is that repetition kills horror, and they're right. They're totally right. It instantly and completely kills any sense of horror when you're repeating something. It's gone. The surprise is gone. It's because of a couple things. It's because the surprise is gone, right? You already know what's going to happen. So that kills the horror a bunch. But it's also more than that. It's because of the fact that you stop thinking about the game as something that you're... A universe that you're trying to get in. You stop thinking about it as something that you're experiencing. And you start thinking about it as systems. You start thinking about it as gameplay mechanics. You think like, oh, when this monster walks here and it gets this close to me, that causes me to fail and I have this amount of time. So if I go here and get this key card and I do this exact thing, I can beat it. And get through. That's the key word. Beat. You shouldn't be... It puts you in that state of trying to think of beating the game. It puts you in the state of, you know, like ripping open the guts of the game and thinking about the gameplay mechanics. Which is bad. Because that's you no longer being immersed in the game. You know, you're separate from the game. Now you're looking at the game as something separate from you rather than being inside of it. It just, it's not good. So, it started out very tense. But it, it quickly devolved, unfortunately, into just boring repetition. So that was disappointing. But, again, I want to end on a good note. There's two very good things I can say about this game. The idea of, have, of each of the monsters and the player having 10 seconds. Each, as a turn-based thing. You have 10 seconds to go, and then the monster has 10 seconds to go, and then you have 10 seconds to go, and etc. Is really interesting. Again, I've never seen that in a game before. At least a horror game. 
And it's really tense. Because you can't move. You can look. You can watch as the monsters move, but you can't move yourself while they are going. That makes that makes for a very tense situation. So I think that's really cool. Very interesting. I don't know whether that sort of a design would work for an entire game. Like, if you, if you had, say, a 10-hour game, would it really work to have it so that you're moving for 10 seconds and then the, they go for 10 seconds and then you move for 10 seconds? I, I think it would get tired very quickly, you know? It constantly feel like control is being taken away from you. However, for something this short, I think it works. And it's very interesting. And the other thing is that the introduction was brilliant. The whole, like, uh, storybook, watercolor thing that you flip through, and uh, the voiceover and the writing for it, just the setup for the story was just great. Good art. I like that the fact that you interact with the introduction. It's not just a movie that plays and you're completely passive. You have to actually flip the pages. That adds a bit of interactivity. The writing was good, and the voice acting was great. So, yeah, I want to end on a positive note. I don't think the game worked. Not at all. But it was very interesting, and I liked it. Despite the fact that it didn't really work, I actually really liked it. So I'm not even sure exactly who made this, but uh, I guess I'm going to check out their work and see what else they've done, and I hope they continue to try more interesting things like this. Because if there's one thing I can appreciate in the games industry, and if there's one thing that the game industry needs more of, it's innovation and experimentation. It's a very good thing. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Gidwell soon.